The Hadzabe are an indigenous tribe that lives around Lake Ayasi in Tanzania. They are one of the last remaining hunter-gatherers in the world, and only about a thousand of them remain today. In the Lake Ayasi area in Tanzania, about 300 to 400 tribe members still live a true nomadic lifestyle. They speak Hadzain, a unique click language that also includes popping sounds and is almost impossible for Westerners to imitate. Over the past century, the Hadzabe have been losing about 90% of their homeland. Their hunting grounds and habitat are being destroyed by farmers, pastoralists and land developers. There are less animals to hunt, less bees providing honey and less berries and fruits to gather. It is imperative that the tribe gets the support they need to save them from vanishing. Meeting them at one of their camps and getting a glimpse of their everyday lives can be a valuable lesson, and it is fun at the same time. The tribe members are very friendly, social and eager to show you their world and take you on a hunt with them. Spending time with them can teach us a whole lot, there are many things we can learn from them. 1. They solely live off the land and in harmony with nature The Hadzabe have been living in harmony with nature for thousands of years, they see themselves as protectors of the land. They use plants as medicine and food, and hunt animals to survive. Their impact on the environment is almost invisible and they have no carbon footprint. To find honey, Hadzabe sometimes collaborate with the honey guide bird, whistling back and forth until the bird has lead them to a beehive. Once the Hadzabe smoke out the bees and harvest the honey, the bird gets the honeycomb. Families, in-laws and friends live together in camps of about 20 to 30 members as a peaceful community. Everyone helps raise the children cooperatively. The Hadzabe love all children born into the tribe as their own. Men and women collaborate to build huts for their camps. There is usually one camp leader who is chosen for his wisdom, bravery and intelligence but he does not have any particular power, there is no hierarchy. He must treat everyone equally, show love and solve problems. Individual autonomy is the hallmark of the Hadzabe. No Hadza adult has authority over any other. Women usually have the last say when important decisions are being made. When a couple gets divorced, women may usually choose who the children will stay with. Several times a year, the different camps gather to share ideas, get to know each other, engage in target practice, sing and dance. Some Hadzabe women have married outside the tribe but have returned because they appreciate their simple and harmonic lifestyle that does not force them to submit to their husbands, which is the case in so many other cultures. The Hadzabe live a free life, free of most social duties, free from religious strictures, free of many family responsibilities, free from schedules, jobs, bosses, bills, traffic, taxes, laws, news, and money. Free from worry, they enjoy an extraordinary amount of leisure time and do not think about tomorrow, they do not keep track of time and live without calendars. They have no words for the days of the week or months of the year, their sense of time depends only on the wandering animals and the shifting patterns of their flowering plants. Their ages are estimated by occurrences or events that happened around their births, not by numbers. They do not stress out about what they will eat tomorrow. They take each day as it comes and trust that what they need will be provided by nature. When they wake up in the morning, they prepare their armor by straightening arrows. They live happily and peacefully. This tribe of hunters lives in the wild, 
Their food is meat and roots. They live in groups and they move according to the season. During the summer they build houses of grass and trees but when spring comes they move to stone caves. The Hadzabe do not own any livestock or permanent living structures. They also do not grow any food. They completely live off the animals and berries, fruits, honey they find every day. The only items they may own are a cooking pot, a water container, and an axe, in addition to their bows and arrows. They will not kill another animal until they have finished eating what they have hunted. They do not store food. They share everything. Once the men come back from a hunt, everything they have caught gets shared among the elders, women and children in the tribe. Whoever has killed an animal does not show off it is considered a communal achievement. The same goes for the fruits and berries the women have foraged for throughout the day. Today we will see how they cook soup in the wild, how they eat raw meat. Remember, the Hadzabe tribe does not use salt in their food. Just a reminder, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hunters cook soup first before taking the meat home to their families. Here it is the area where they used to live. It is in the middle of a big forest. The hunters walk for a long time without getting tired. Hako ni ayako. Same ta ota afita na hako e akota oteta tuvi na kaya same kese me kai afiko mana. Boko ako kui ko tacheta a mana be. Neta. Oh man, I can't see 
Then Yamana sit Kriam and a Tuku Satch. Then I'm <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Oh mama, and then it's off. Kuku atau bila mana kau, bayar kau tu gigi kau, bayar kau ag okon ni kau kau bersekem bersekem, bayar kau tin kui, bayar cikau akan ayat tak ayam ber, isya bersekem, sekau tin kui, si nauta acak kita neta amat sedih kau kau tak kau sa, acak kita kau atau kau kopi sot iya. ก็ขึ้นเอ็ดเทเมดอาการอาการของเทียร์ซาเฉยๆป้าพี่อีบีใช่ไหมอ่ะอาการของเทียร์ของเทียร์ของเทียร์ของเทียร์ของเทียร์
दे देगा Mama, si a tout le monde qui va Kakasha. Kakasha. Huku anakuja kukaa huku kweti Huku ya kichoka maisha anauwa tena analudi kwa Kataa mabafu Kataa mabafu Kataa kichoka tu maisha hapa anauwa na kwa mbafu Kataa Kasi abalama. Shaka ishi. Hmm. Hey nabi, hey nabi kama ya. Kwa hiyo hivi. Marcus Humboldt. John Lop. Don't even eat that one.
Nice. Hey, you can't hear. I'm not going to I'm not to I'm not i not
Ya, 
So you tell me about it. No, so you tell me.
你搞么团体一大个？哎哎哎！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！